Hey everyone, Slinks Tigress here, and today I'm going to do a hero card review on Grim. Grim is a four-star ice hero. He's a classic stock hero, which means you can acquire him from your training camp. You can get him from the Epic Hero Summon or from the Ice Elemental Summon. All right, let's get into it. He is of the Barbarian class, which means if you max him out and you give him some emblems, he's going to get Wound, which is 60% damage over five turns. Let's get into his stats. With an attack stat of 716, that is very high for a 4-star hero, a defense of 531, which is very low for a 4-star hero, and an HP of 1132, which is, I would say, on the high side of average, average-ish for a 4-star hero. Let's get into a special skill, Ramming Pulverizer. With a mana speed of average, if you were to get Ramming Pulverizer, level 8 out of 8, the first thing it's going to do is it deals 295% damage to the target and minor damage to nearby enemies. The second thing it's going to do is the target and nearby enemies get negative 34% defense for 6 turns. So here you have a hero that's very similar to Gormak. The only differences are the stats. So where Gormak has a very high HP, Grim has a very high attack. So Grim's going to give you some amazing tile damage, but he's a little bit squishy with this defense. Um, his HP is average, so it's okay. I would say Grim is more of an offensive hero given this attack, where Gormak would be more of a defensive hero probably. Mm, average. He's all around. Um, again, this is a defense down, so... The first thing he's going to do is he's going to do the damage before he drops their defense. However, when you add the wound, the 60% damage over 5 turns, with that negative defense, that's a pretty good synergy there. Um, Grim is going to be great against Titans. He's going to be great offensively in raids and war. Uh, defense down heroes are really important. They are heroes that you want to get their special off before your other attacking hero specials. So if you have a Bold Tusk or a Kirill that has, you know, like the attack boost, you want to do the attack boost before using Grim's ability, being that the first thing he does is a ton of damage. But the second thing he does with the defense down is really important, and I would use his special before using your other attackers because you want to get your enemy's defense lower so when you do hit him with your other specials, it's going to do a little more damage. Um, overall, I think Grim is a well-rounded hero, uh, particularly offensively. Um, you know, again, he's a bit squishy, so he's going to die quickly, which might be frustrating. But any defense down hero is going to be great, especially if you knock off that special first. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Uh, do you have Grim? Do you like him? Do you dislike him? What are your thoughts? If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. All right, I hope you're having a good day. Bye.